Today I'm doing a typing tutorial for a 1967 Smith Corona Super Sterling. This is the original color. It's a spring green. Such a lovely color. This is a great typewriter. This is going to be a really good option for those of you who are looking for a manual typewriter um, that is portable. And it's a good working typewriter. Solid. You're going to really like it. I love these. They're they're affordable. You can get a lot fancier brands that are good manual typewriters. But for affordable vintage typewriters, man, you can't go wrong with Smith Coronas, especially these Super Sterling. So nice. So let's take a look. I'm going to show you everything around. I'm going to assume that you don't know anything about typewriters. So first of all, this is a manual, which means you don't have to plug it in. There's no batteries. Um, it's just the power of your fingers. So you do have to press down a little bit harder and then you do with um, a computer. So it might make you make you feel weird when you first try it and you're gonna be like, this isn't doing anything because with computers, you barely touch them and you type, but with manual typewriters, you really gotta press down um, because it's the key action, pressing down the key that is going to type and it's going to advance the carriage. And so sometimes our fingers at first aren't strong enough or if you have small hands to get it all the way down. So you may have to just one finger it for a while until you get used to it. Up here is the carriage and this is where your paper is going to go. And so the paper is going to fit right down in here and some typewriters, and this one does not have it, some typewriters have a metal, um, like some metal bars back here that pop up and that's a paper holder. And this one does not have it. Um, but, and then right here is where you set your margins and you just press this down and then move it to where you want it and press and move. Okay. Right here on the left side is a metal tab. That is your, um, pay, paper guide and it can go all the way to here to back here and, Really, this is to help your margins be consistent because otherwise, without it, you you could load your paper here, 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 here. And if you want your margins to be consistent, you set the guide where you want it and then load the paper right next to it. So we'll set the paper right there. The paper goes right behind the roller. And then once you set your paper there, you turn the roller and it'll catch the paper and bring it around. And you can see, oh, look, I got it <laughs> nice and straight sometimes it comes in crooked if that happens you release the tension right here on the right side and you can adjust your paper so it's nice and straight now on computers you hit the return button to go to the next line or it automatically takes you to the next line with a typewriter you have to manually go to the next line with a manual typewriter anyway electric typewriters you hit a power return button which is usually right here but this one's a manual, so you use this bar, and it does two things. It advances to the next line, and it returns you to the beginning of the line. So you just press it in. And then this one, two, and three, this will tell, this determines if you're going to advance one line, two lines, or three lines. Um, okay, so if you ever need to move your carriage, you have a carriage release lever right behind here. You pull that in releases the carriage. I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave the carriage here for now so that I can open the top of my typewriter. And you just pull that open like that. If you were to try to open it with your carriage in the center, it would get stuck underneath this or the uh, handle would scrape the top and you don't want that to happen. Inside you'll see the ribbon and the ribbon is a universal ribbon, and you can find universal ribbons on our website, Etsy shop, even on our Facebook page. Um, they are, we always have them in stock for you. Um, the ribbons are easy. They just pop in and out. Make sure they're in the guide wires. So if you purchase the typewriter from us, I take a photo of the ribbon so, because often they fall out during shipment. And before you use any typewriter, make sure the ribbon is installed properly. Now, when you get to the end of the spool, the font's gonna do, uh, your font um, is gonna do two things. One, it's gonna get light and then it's gonna stop. Your carriage is gonna just um, kinda feel, it'll get stuck. 
There's nothing wrong with your typewriter. That just means you need to reverse the direction of your ribbon. And you do that with this button right here. Just press it down or up. Now I have learned with this particular typewriter that sometimes this button will get kind of stuck in an in-between spot and it won't advance. So if it seems like when you're typing and you've reversed the direction of your ribbon, but the font is just like really faint, it's because the ribbon's not advancing and it keeps typing in the same spot over and over and over. And, um, and just all you do is need to open it up and make sure this is in its position real solid, that it's not somehow stuck in between. Okay, let's take a look down here. This is your color selector. There's black and red. The LMH probably won't ever need it. This determines how hard your strike bars are going to strike the paper. So if your font is too light, you want it darker, you can try adjusting it or lighter either way. The clear and the set are for your tabs. So if you want to set a tab, um, you can do so. And then this is how you advance to your or use your tabs. Okay, let's go ahead and type and see how well this does. So this is a 1967. Smith Corona Super Sterling. And this is a real solid typewriter. Oh my goodness, I just love it. The, the clicking sound is so nice and I the tension on the keys is perfect. It's a nice serif font, real pretty. Let's try the red. Fantastic. Whoops. Everything use. Uh, it's a portable manual. That ding told me it was at the end of the line and I needed to adjust change. So this is a portable manual typewriter. Good for um, type in or let's see it, other typing groups. In that it's portable and you can take it um, or even to the coffee shop and make other people jealous that you have a typewriter. So excellent typewriter. I hope if you're looking for typewriters, I hope you look into a Smith Corona Super Sterlings. Um, anything that's the silent or the sterling or the super sterling, you just can't go wrong. Even the classic 12 is a really good manual typewriter. Love the original color of the spring green. If you're interested in this particular one, there is a link in our Etsy, in the comments below, the link is to our Etsy shop. Um, but otherwise, leave feedback. Tell me if you've got one of these and what you love about it, or if you're looking for one, something like that, and uh, what you use your typewriter for. would love to hear more from you. Thanks so much for watching, and please subscribe. Tell your friends about us, and have a great day.